Welcome, in front of me is the Oppo A54 and today I'll show you how to enable the do not disturb mode. And to get started pull down the notification panel and find the toggle which for me it is nowhere to be found. So I'm going to tap on that square with a pencil in it and find the do not disturb mode in here. So all I need to do is grab it, drag it over, drop it and now we can access it easily. So once you have it in your notification panel, you want to hold it and this will take us to the settings where you can quickly customize several different functions of it. So right off the bat, right at the top, we have the uh, well, enabling switch. So we can turn it on or off from here if you want to. Uh, we have also a schedule so you can set up uh, the schedule for do not disturb mode. So it will turn on automatically, well, turn on and off automatically at a given day of the week and time. Then below that we have allow notifications, so just what kind of notifications can go through during this mode. Uh, then we have allow, me allow messages and we have a couple different options to choose from, uh, from anyone, contacts, favorites or no one. Calls will have the same options as you can see with a addition for ring for repeated callers. So if someone calls you twice within a three minute period, the second time around the call will go through completely bypassing the uh, section right here. So even for instance if I set it to no one with this on someone calls twice they will be able to reach me anyway completely bypassing the no one option and this is a good option in terms of emergencies people usually will spam call you just to get our attention so this will allow them to actually reach you and then silent media when do not disturb mode is on that is completely up to you if you want it or not and once you set it all up you don't actually have to go back ever to the settings again so all you need to do now is simply tap on the toggle if you want to turn it on manually like so or if you set up a schedule then just wait for it to turn on on its own. Now if you go the manual route where you turn it on yourself, uh, do keep in mind that you will also need to turn it off yourself otherwise it will be permanently on. Now that being said, this is how you would set it up and use it. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.